during the Indian Premier Narendra Modi's last trip to Moscow. There was no progress made on the sale of missile defense system S-400 Nakula-class nuclear submarines. Although two leaders were agreed on jointly producing KAMOV-226 military helicopters and building nuclear power plants, Indian Defense Ministry on the behalf of Indian Air Force showed interest in Russian S-400 Triumph air defense system. However, the Moscow clarified it will never reciprocate to such request until India negotiates the joint fifth-generation fighter aircraft FGFA development program. So it was explicable when there was no follow-up negotiated on S-400 sale during Modi's visit. But at the sidelines of the HBRIC summit, India and Russia agreed to sign an intergovernmental agreement for the procurement of four regiments of Russian-made S-400 Triumph. The S-400 Triumph NATO designation. SAR-21 Growler is a new generation medium and long-range anti-aircraft missile system. This missile system was manufactured by the Almaz Anti Corporation and contains multiple missile variants to counter stealth aircraft, UAVs, cruise missiles, and sub strategic ballistic missiles. It can strike planes and tactical ballistic targets at a distance of 250 miles. 400 kilometers. The Indian Air Force desires the S 400 to enhance its air defense systems. Meanwhile, the purchase of S-400 is a sign that India is far away in creating an indigenous operative anti-missile missile system. Recently, Vladimir Drozhjov, deputy head of Russia's Federal Service for Military Technical Cooperation FSMTC, claimed that the Russian Federal Service has prepared a draft intergovernmental agreement on the supply of the S-400 systems to India and passed it on to our partners, so we are awaiting a response. Quote, whereas, aide to the President of Russia and head of the Control Directorate of the Presidential Administration of Russia, Vladimir Kojin said that there are many of those who want it, the S-400 system, but the case is that we are not able to supply everyone with it and therefore we will not deliver it to everyone, because the priority is the Russian army. However, the negotiations with China and India are underway. Russia has been using the S-400 Triumph system for countering strategic threats with respect to its requirements obligatory in context of Europe against the United States. Now in future, the probable existence of these missiles in the South Asia, especially under Indian command is certainly going to contribute as another problem for Pakistani military. The future proliferation of S-400 to India is a grave challenge for Pakistan and it rings alarm. Bells also for China. The Trium F air defense system is easy to transport, well networked and has a range to defend huge areas. The traditional non-stealth fighter jets are specific target for the system and completely useless in the region where this system is being installed. Some analysts contemplated that the best counter to the Trium F system is a long-range surface too. Air missile SAM, for instance the Chinese HQ-9. Whereas, the genuine measure against Triumph system is to obtain a comprehensive ability which would preferably destroy India's air defense capabilities. There are numerous methods available to counter an air defense system i.e. suppression of enemy air defenses SAD, directed energy air defense dead, radar decoys, stealth airstrike, drone airstrike, cruise missile and ground invasion. Theoretically the conventional answer for Pakistan Air Force is to obtain stealth aircraft along with anti-radiation air-to-surface missiles and sub-munition capable air-launched cruise missiles ALCM. Whereas Pakistan Army should invest in multiple independently guided re-entry vehicle MIRV equipped ballistic missiles to counter any future acquisition of S-400 by India